Oh, this is what it's like to try to get the shot. All right. You can see it. Let's see if I can't uh, adjust that a little bit. All right. Let's see, can I see myself over here? Well, my head's cut off. But do we need to see my head? That's the question. Do we need to see what's going to be happening here? This. This is a project I was working on. I'm going to have to remove that. Let's see here. Hi. Today, we are going to be building the chicken coop day three. Uh, I learned some things in the last video. One was a big mistake, how to cut T111, but that's not what I'm going to tell you about. I learned that while I'm close to the camera like this, I can't look at the screen next to the camera to see if I'm in frame, because when I do, I'm not looking at you. Instead, I need to look directly at the camera, and that's something that I'm going to have to work on, so I apologize for that in the last video. I actually drew a smiley face and some eyes on the top of my other camera, so that when I'm talking to it, I'm actually talking to the camera and talking to you, and not the screen next to the camera. So with all that said, now let me get down off this ladder, clean up my shop, and then we will start day three of the chicken coop build. See you in a minute. All right, so the first thing I have to do is I have to rip some more 2x6x8s or 2x6x10s because I'm out of my fake, my faux 2x4s, which are actually 1.5x3s, basically a 2x6x12 cut in half. So I need to rip some more of those on the table saw so that I have something to frame this front and the back wall as well as the brood box. So let me start there. It's going to be loud. We'll time lapse past it so you won't even know that I've, I've done it. So the first thing I want to do is create a top and a bottom sill for both the, both the front and the back. The part with the windows, the part without. And I think the measurement that I need, because you have to remember... My base is six foot long and I've got two walls they're gonna be like so I need this internal measurement and I think because this equals about five and a half inches or thereabouts and I have to leave for some slop because my boards aren't exact this comes to five and a quarter I think it's five and a half with the boards that I use for the other one Let me check that all right, five and a half, so we're going to let it rip tater chip. Maybe a mistake. We'll see. But I did follow the advice of someone in the comments, measure twice, cut once. But if my measurements are wrong, it's not going to help me any. But we're going to do it anyways. This is what happens when you use scrap wood. Nothing is precise. Nothing is exact. If I had two by fours, my measurement would be easy, but these are homemade two by fours and sometimes they wiggle in the saw, sometimes the saw's not perfect. My saw doesn't turn to 90 degrees, it only goes to about 88 degrees, so my boards are always lopsided when I rip them. I need to get a new table saw one of these days. Hint to the wife for Christmas, let me spend a bunch of money on a table saw. All right. 66 and three quarter. That is the target. And we're going to need four of those. All right. Set two of these aside. We'll frame this. Now let's see how high it's got to be. I need at least two of them. drills upstairs. I've been stirring wine with my drill. I've got to go up and get my drill. We're going to get this build underway yet. All 
right, so now I'm going to go outside and cut some T111 so that we can skin this and get this wall off the bench and start building the wall that matters, and that's the one with the roosting boxes and all the fun stuff, the windows and everything else. So let's get this one skinned and moved. This T111 is going to have to hang over this edge by three inches on these front and back walls because they've got to cover the side walls, which right now are just studs. And this wall is designed to fit in between those two walls on the base of the chicken coop, which means I've got to have an overhang to actually cover the outside corner of this thing. And then I'll come back with some shiplap or something and throw it over the, uh, throw it over the edges. But now, the good thing about this is, is I get to use that piece of T111 that I screwed up in the last build. I can rip it and use it right here. Alrighty. Beautiful. <laughs> I will take it. Oh, I need. It. All right. Back wall is complete. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's gonna keep the chickens in there. Now I've just got to get it out of the shop. This thing weighs a ton. wonder if I can get my bride down here to help me. It's worth a try. Let's see if she wants to carry something. <laughs> try to do the best we can. All right, tea break. <laughs> Lots of honey. It's cold. And I've got to think about how I'm going to build the front of this thing with the windows and the brood box. It's going to be a complicated thing to, to frame on a bench. Makes me wonder whether or not I should just wait until I have the other three sides up and frame it in place when I've built it, when I've put it all together. but. Then where would the fun in that be? So, I will try to build it on the bench. That is the plan after my tea. Because this whole thing is going to be designed around my windows. That is interesting. a one inch channel. Let me show you this. There is a one inch channel all the way around the, the sill of this window. I was expecting that I would be able to put the window in place and screw it down. The problem is, is that channel. What am I going to do here? I may have to cut that off. I wish I had a hot knife. It is plastic. I guess I could run it on the saw. That's just PVC. Oh, I see. Aha! I got it. I still don't like it but I understand what they did. They're expecting me to attach this to the studs like so. And then the T111 slide up in there. The only problem is, is that my T111 is not one inch thick. It's only five eighths, which means I'm gonna have a huge gap that I guess I could caulk around. It's not going to look good at all, but I don't see any other option. So you put a shim behind it. I just don't like that. 
Well, this is a dilemma. It's not what I expected. What do I want to do? That's plastic. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut this on my saw. It's probably a bad idea. But I don't see any other way around it. Because the way this thing is designed, it's not designed to work with what I have. Maybe designed to work with with something. If somebody's sheeting their their building in one inch thick ply or clapboards or something, and they want to caulk down the side of it and, and seal it, but it's not the idea that I had. I'm gonna cut it. Get the saw. And I want to go on the record right now and say this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> And what better time to say, follow shop safety guidelines as I'm about to violate all of them. What are you gonna do? Man, this has got bad idea written all over it. <sighs> Here goes nothing. All right, now we have usable windows. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna get building this thing and say, oh man, I shouldn't have cut those off. Too late, they're gone. They are toast, toast aroni. But now I can use my windows. Those windows must be for modular homes or something. I'm not sure. I've never seen a window that fits like that. This is what I expect to see on a window, right? You slide it into your box, and you're good to go. All right. I need a few boards, 43 inches. So let's make that happen. All right. It's raining outside. I have to go get my saw. All right. It's starting to rain. And there are rumors in Georgia that we are going to get some snow next weekend. The current temperature outside. Okay, so right now, outside the shop here, it's 44 degrees. That's how cold I've been. Well, I've got my fire running. But I think next Saturday they're calling for snow. All right, now, let's get back at it. Let's 
flip it over and button some other things up and then we'll skin it. about the old T111. Right, I need to cut that T111 outside but it's raining. Not the thing to do if you have a bad back. But, I also suspect that everybody my age has probably got a bad back. So, keep motoring through. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to cut it this way. I'm not. It sure it would be nice though because it would fit perfectly. I could just do it in one sheet. But then I would have a few more 11 panels going, grooves going this way on my, on my coupe. Instead of vertical like they're supposed to. So, we're going to cut it vertical. Now, I think I need to go get my little buddy. I'm going to need you to stand here and hold this because I'm going to cut it. Um, I want the uh, board to drop and land on here when I cut. Y'all met my wife? Here. Oh gosh. <laughs> I didn't know what was on there. I would have, would have curled my hair. Oh god, I'm wearing the right shirt. <laughs> okay, so that is going to go here. Right there, now I'm going to have to cut another piece. sawed out with a jigsaw. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> jigsaw. Now, if I was good, and there was a time when I was, I could probably use my skill saw to do a plunge cut and everything would be good. I don't think I'm that good anymore. Just gonna use a jigsaw. Those days have passed. Alright, let's try it now. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to screw these in. Alright, well we made it to the end of day three and 
the end of the chicken coop build. I don't think I'm going to be building any more pieces of the chicken coop in here. Everything else that needs to be done needs to be done when this thing is assembled out in the yard, which means I've got to go out in the yard and try to find a place to, to put this thing. I know where I want to put it. I just don't know if the ground is ready, and if not, I'm going to have to prepare the ground, and I'm probably going to have to wait for a warmer day to do that. It's been kind of rainy and cold. So the next video will probably not be a chicken coop video, but we're getting close. Pretty soon, we're going to finish this thing up, put a roof on it, and be done. So with all that said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, by all means, please subscribe, ring the bell, and be notified of my new content. And I want to ask you to leave me some comments. I understand that that really helps with the algorithm, so leave me some comments. I'll leave you some answers. I'm probably just asking for a lot of work, but leave me some comments, and I'll write back to you. We'll, uh, we'll talk about what I did right, what I did wrong, and what I can do better, I guess. All that said, I hope you have a great day. Be happy. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.